All right, we are trying to find some filler, something to do here. <clears throat> uh, I could keep going with the hood, but at least I made it look like a hood, so I'm kind of okay with that for now. I'd kind of like to work with the dash, just get the dash kind of sitting in there. But because of the way I did these stupid windows, and I don't know why I didn't think of it at the time. I don't have, I need to put a center post of some kind in there. Um, you're going to have some pretty scary glass if you go here and just V-butt it and glue it in the middle. <laughs> you might have a semi passing by and you're just going to eat a windshield. Uh, I did think of a Duval. Somebody did mention that too. I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to probably do a hybrid version of it. Uh... What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the cowl. This will probably get welded shut. But uh, I might run a steel rod up this way to the right angle that I want and double it into the front here. Then I'll almost have like a slot that the glass would fall into or something. I don't know. Not 100% yet. But I definitely need an extra little bit of meat on both sides. So uh, I'm going to run something across the front here and get a feel for how everything's got to go. At least if I can get this center pillar in, then I can kind of start mounting the dash. Alrighty, what was happening there? Well, I was using, not this, but I had another piece of steel. I had it across the top just to, uh, well, at first I did it straight and then I realized I screwed up. So then I followed this peak, so at least I can get into the vicinity where I needed that pole or my center strut. Um, so I got that roughed in. I had to break it apart a bunch of times until I got it squared up. It looks square. Those things are never really squared into the middle, but it looks okay from here. Um, this is going to have to get built up a little bit yet because it still sits under. Like I could glue it, but I'm probably going to 
lace and strapping or V it a little bit before I put it full of glue when I do the glass. Uh, I tied it down into the tunnel. It's not fully done yet. But now there's some strength there. I'm still going to bring this back. I'm going to make a brace into there because there's going to be a lot of force on this thing coming down. I don't know if I'm going to need to do anything in the front. I think I'll play that game and see what happens here first. Um, I was putting a piece of glass on just to make sure I was getting the profile right, even though this wasn't the right piece, because I do intend to glue the glass in. So I wanted to make sure that it was contacting everywhere and we were in the right vicinity. You can see there's a huge gap there right now. Maybe you can't. But I got to add some material onto there and try to get into the V of what the glass is going to be. So I want an open top glass. So that's kind of the big spiel. So I want to go this because when I make the top, I'll have a header panel that'll go on and it'll kind of cover over. Kind of like my Roadster, I guess. Kind of an eye opener after I did that car. How that works, so. So we got that kind of tacked in, but this is all burned in pretty good there. Uh, I'm gonna start trimming the dash and uh, start fitting it into the truck. Because now that we got that, we can start making her look like a Pontiac. Something different. I should get the, uh, oh, wouldn't that be awesome, eh? On that hood, if you sunk in the waterfall grill, like the, the hood, if you could do that off the Pontiac. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of fancy. You doll it up. You can tell Pontiac made a pickup. That'd be kind of cool. All right, well, let's start fiddling with this and get this thing into there.
Well, that is a super loosey goosey fit, but it looks pretty good. What's that for a combo, eh? Nice little Pontiac steering wheel. That is just scabbed in there, not very good. <laughs> <clears throat> there is still a lot of work. It's just kind of tacked in on top. Still have to build like fillers on the side. But the guy gets the general feel of it. Yeah. Neato. I'll have to imagine the steering can't be too far off. Can't be too far off, I imagine. <laughs> Still one floppy hood, eh? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That steering shaft lines up cherry. We'll have to go with that one. It's just gonna work. Oh well. I guess maybe tomorrow I'll try to do some structural bracing for this hood. And then, uh, well this needs a whole lot more welding. This cowl vent, I'm not gonna function, not gonna function, so I'm just gonna weld it shut. Got to still pull some of the dent out. I don't know. There's still a lot of work. I think I see. I'm not sure how far I go with it. This one, this door is really nice. Well, that's a relative word, but the uh, back pillar doesn't play so much. That one does. So right now, this section just comes down. That's the bracing, and then it's got this brace here as well. But I'm imagining I'm going to be adding some more gusseting and bracing. Probably down the middle I'll add something and kind of tweak it into the console. Like a console or something, I would imagine. Unless I'm putting a bench seat in here, I don't know yet. Uh, but I think that's where I'm going to leave it tonight. I'll, uh, yeah, tomorrow's another day. Got in a little late and I guess I put in about an hour, hour and a half. At least I think that's how far I did. <laughs> I don't keep track of my time very well. Anyways, till tomorrow. All right, well, new day. Let's try and make this truck a roller. Uh, I have one set of bags and a buddy gave me a set of these. These are not going to be the the permanent bags for the truck, but uh, at least I can lift it and it'll be a roller. That's kind of what I'm shooting for here. I probably have to dig around. I think I want to find some different wheels. I might have in the shed, I'm not sure. But then at least I can uh, roll it, not have to fill the tires up all the time. That would be a big win. So, I guess we'll get started. So this was done like a long time ago, but uh, basically when you bag these, you got to cut out your spring pocket like a monster to uh, clear the bag. This one's probably a little overly large because I was probably going to run bigger bags in it, which I probably still will. Uh, through some dealings and stuff, I've, I had made some mounts, but they're like long gone. A lot of the time I would just weld a plate on the bottom, then it's just like a permanent deal. Uh, but if you buy the aftermarket stuff, they kind of look like this. And then the bolts actually go through where the uh, where the shock would be or at least they should well, maybe this one doesn't something something seems off about it 
maybe we got it. Anyways, then your bag would bolt on there, and then this one would go to the upper portion, and it bolt goes through where your shock stud used to go, and then the bag bolts to that. And then you just gotta make sure you got like tons of clearance around everything, so nothing gets buggered when you're uh, bouncing up and down. But anyways, I'm gonna get this together, and then I'll work my way to the back. I gotta bolt the shocks up on these things and then stab them in there. At least the upper part. She can't really get at it once she's uh, once she's all together. But once this goes in, the airline will probably come through here, and then it fishes down the frame or however a feller is plumbing it. Well, maybe that's why I stopped building it. <laughs> it doesn't lay anything on the ground. That's kind of lame. Eh, a guy can work with that, make that work. It's pretty close. Like, there's no point putting drop spindles or anything in because the cross member is pretty much hitting the ground. Not quite, but I don't mind that. You get a flat tire, you're pretty hooped anyways. Well, you'd have to be sacked out and get a flat, but uh, yeah, well, at least it's a roller. That's kind of cool. Uh, but, yeah. So, probably gonna move this one out for a little bit. Uh, well, tonight anyways. I know Rolly wants to do some work on his truck. So I'm probably gonna pop this one out, call her a day. Uh, do a little more work on this and then uh, we'll see what we do next well unfortunately I needed some room in the shop and this one got parked outside for now <laughs> I'll get her back in the shop yet I uh, had to do some work on a car for a buddy of mine so we are uh, we are parking this one for a little bit but we'll get back on her. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, guys. We'll uh, catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>